We've been following that major vehicle crash all morning long. Stephanie Stevenson just arrived there on the scene. She's actually able to give us a live look right now. So I want to go ahead and get to that picture. You can see that this incident was a truck versus a pole right now. Crews are on scene. You can well, with stay at home orders in place, many are not able to take advantage of these low gas prices, which for many states are actually the lowest prices they've seen in over a decade. In fact, for Wisconsin, Kentucky, Michigan, Oklahoma, Minnesota and Illinois, these are the lowest prices they've seen since at least 2008. We are here at South Hatch Road right where it connects by 195 and hey if you missed the huge glowing sign behind me there is a closure to let you know about here today. In fact this bridge right here behind me is set to be closed here in just moments. That's right Sean and hopefully you have gone ahead and prepped your car for winter light conditions if you are looking to hit the road today. I can let you know that at this point in time Blewett Pass is now closed. They don't know when it will reopen. She eats hot dogs. She eats hot dogs. She says she'll try a hamburger when when I'm married, I'm saving the hamburger for marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Bound and determined, so uh, we got to get on that chop chop, buddy. As we get a look at the downtown corridor, you can see we are mostly in the green right now. I do want to give you a live look, though, out on I-90 at Star Road, where at this point in time, we do have a lane that is blocked. And earlier this morning, we saw that the fire department was out there. They have since then cleared the scene. You can see police still, however, are on the scene right now. That right lane of ash is blocked. Traffic is still flowing through that area, though. We just had that tow truck arrive on the scene moments ago, and it looks like it's getting that vehicle loaded up. So expect this to be cleared pretty soon. In mind, you're going to want to give yourself plenty of extra time as you're headed out the door. If you are a Keller Ferry user, as these detours could take about an hour. Let's celebrate those birthdays now, you guys. All right, Grace, thank you. Her baseline for comparison was the month of February since she said it was a relatively normal month. She was then able to create an average weekday volume and weekend volume for more than a dozen locations. You can see the spokesman chose six of the more popular spots here on the map. They were then able to create these graphs right here that demonstrate that traffic volume overall is down right now.